All eyes on tonight's CBS News vice presidential debate stage and its moderators who critics say have a history of anti-Donald Trump bias. We know that the media seems totally uninterested in fact-checking Joe Biden from any of the number of false claims that he made. You know, I, I've lost track, sir. I, I've been told no. the media's on every single side of this and everything's our fault. But let's get back to the candidate you're here to talk about. Critics also pointing out that CBS has a long record of downplaying Biden's scandals while praising his administration. It's a very important issue to find out whether or not a man's corrupt who's running for president, who's accepted money from China and from Ukraine and from Russia. Take a look at what's going on, Leslie. And then you say how that shouldn't be discussed. I think it's this I think it's one of the biggest scandals I've ever seen. And you don't cover it. Because you want to talk about well because it can't be verified. You want to talk I'm about insignificant you. things. I'm telling you. Of course it can be verified. Excuse we, me. We they found the laptop. It. Leslie, it Leslie. Can't be verified. When I hear people say, you know, I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris because she's a black woman, she is so much more than that. She is so uniquely qualified to be president of this country. So, what can we expect on the debate stage tonight here in New York City? Well, here in New York City, we, right now we've got Fox News contributor and former senior White House counselor with Donald Trump, Kelly Ann Conway. Good morning to you. Hi, Steve. Uh, so, I've heard that, I've read that apparently there will be no fact checking from the moderators. So, if they were going to, you know, posit some sort of bias, it would have to be in the form of questions and question selection. We saw that also in the ABC debate in this way. The questions are sins of commission or omission, <laughs> meaning you, say, you flat on repeat something someone has said and you distort it for your own purposes, or you don't bother to ask key questions at all. The best debate moderators, Steve, are those who ask questions that mimic the way we ask ourselves questions going into that polling place, and we ask each other questions when we're discussing politics and presidential preferences. So I, I think there's some pressure on these CBS moderators to be a little bit more the way CNN was on June 27th and the way ABC was on September 10th. Uh, you don't want to make yourself the issue at all. But I also think these are two very volcanic personalities in Walls and Vance, and they're probably not going to allow the debate moderators to become the stars of the show. Right. Um, I was reading in this morning's New York Times that apparently J.D. Vance, who's in town for the debate tonight, was over at La Bernadan, a couple of blocks up uh, from where we're sitting right now, talking to big money donors. And one of the things he said about his performance tonight is he's going to go after the Harris-Biden record on the border, because that is their Achilles heel. Well, that's the key. And Kamala Harris reminded us all of her many deficits and deficiencies at the border uh, just last Friday by showing up there for a few minutes. Right. People in New York and elsewhere spend more time in the Starbucks line or the Chick-fil-A line than she did at the border on Friday, and then she just jetted off to California, as she has many weekends during her vice presidency. So this is not going to rectify right. the, the fact that she has failed all the statistics. I thought last week's statistics from ICE were really jarring. You've covered them on mm -hmm. your show. But they're worth repeating, and I hope Senator Vance does tonight. We know from ICE, a government right. agency that Kamala Harris once likened to KKK, that we have uh, so many murderers here and rapists and convicted criminals. Real quickly, before you go, I want to talk a little bit about, you're over on Fox Nation. Yes. You sat down with the former president. Among other things, he said out on the trail, he does not feel safe. He doesn't. I asked him that question. I said, do you feel safe? He said, no. And I said, do you feel footprints? You feel differently out there? He said, yes, I do. He said, it's a dangerous business. And it should not be an occupational hazard for Donald Trump or anybody else running for president that you get up on that podium where you're looking around every time you get on your plane. But he also made very clear, Steve, he's going to continue to barnstorm this country, regardless of how he feels about the safety. He feels very compelled to get this economy back, this border more secure, get, out, get us out of these wars abroad, and just make people feel more secure, everyday life more affordable and more fair. All right. Check it out over on Fox Nation. It's called Here's the Deal with Kellyanne. Kellyanne, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve.